So this Mass is the last one in this liturgical year, because this evening is going to be already the first Vespers of the first Sunday of Advent. And the message we have been listening to is insistently in the last week or two, in the daily readings, is a message of being awake. And there is right now, we've, we all know this, we've all heard about this, a very influential cultural and political movement who claims to be awake. And that movement is the woke movement, right? They claim to be the ones who are awake. But what do they claim to be awake to? They are supposed to be vigilant and awake to all of the injustices that are committed and per perpetuated against minorities. And woke movement wants to speak out because they're awake and vigilant to this structural and, yeah, against this uh, structural injustices against the less privileged. And people who subscribe to this movement, they're taught to complain, they're taught to speak out, they're taught to criticize. But it's interesting because it seems that this awake movement, to me, it seems, it seems like the, it leads people to a place of bitterness and a place of resentment and to a place where there's no gratefulness for things. So I think it's time for us to reclaim being awake. But when you think about it, the way in which, in which we Catholics are called to be awake is not looking at the social injustices, or although there is some um, truth in that, but I think that coming to this retreat is a way in which we want to be awake. But what means truly to be awake, I think, is at least in a certain way, to get to know yourself. That is a way in which you are really awake, knowing yourself. So while the world is in the world, we try to look at the sins in our own soul. That's how we pretend to be awake. That's why I think it's so pertinent to do this retreat as we begin Advent and in this time where we're called, especially by the word of the God, by the word of God to be awake. Because as we do this retreat, we be more awake to who we are. This retreat is going to help you to be more awake to who you really are. Today, help for me, it says drowsy. He says, he says, beware of being drowsy because of the anxieties of the world. And that is precisely what happens to us, me included. You guys live more busy lives than mine, probably, because you have to take care of your families, and you have to work, and you have to pay your bills, and you have to pay your mortgage. So I think that sometimes the anxieties of life make us drowsy to be awake to our own insufficiencies, to our own sins. So I think that this gospel is perfect for this day. Again, because it reminds us of the importance of being awake. And awake doesn't mean calling out on the injustices of the world and being bitter. I think that awake means especially awake to yourself and awake to who you really are and awake to understand how prideful you are or how lustful or how greedy or how wrathful. That is, to me, the meaning of really being awake. So today, brothers, my encouragement is give the best of yourself during, this, during these hours. Give the best of yourself because if you give the best of yourself, you will really be awake because you will get to know yourself better. And when wokes are awake, they're driven to a place of resentment and bitterness and ungratefulness. When Catholics are awake, you know where we're drawn to by the Spirit? First of all, to a place of salvation and repentance. And the more you know yourself, the more you will repent from who you are. But repentance and contrition is only the first step. 
Because contrition and repentance allows for the Spirit to come to do a transformation in our lives. So it's beautiful to see how when we are awake, the pathway that we follow, follow is contrition and repentance, step, second transformation by grace. So let's call on the Spirit today that He may allow us to be awake, to listen to the talks, a way to know, awake to know ourselves better, in knowing ourselves better to be led to a place of contrition and repentance, and then to a place of conversion and transformation by grace.